video 6 my budget setup for the GoPro drone shot chase can so back to the GoPro. It's a great little camera that is waterproof and aren't afraid of being knocked around a bit or a lot. It shoots great 4K footages and it's also really small and light and fit just about anywhere. Almost a little bit scary, right? So the chest mount is a pretty typical way people shoot with the GoPro. But unfortunately, not sure about you, but I find the footage shot this way a little bit uninspiring. Mounted low and closer to the action, you said? Sure, you, you do get a sense of speed, but the vibration is just killing me. What we need is to find a way to get smooth and stabilized footages that make the music flow naturally. Okay, so how do we get a setup that get us this wonderfully stabilized footage? And A, without using a drone, which is totally illegal in New York City, and let's face it, kind of expensive. B, asking for help from one of my friends who won't seem to have better things to do than to follow me around on a scooter or C keep it on the budget do you see any caviar in this fridge this is my budget this is how much it has to cost well maybe a little bit more so we're going to use the Osmo Mobile 2 it's a little bit plasticky but it works very well and at $130, it's just about the cheapest motorized gimbal you can possibly get on the market. Now that we have all the ingredients, let's start. We'll start by loosening this knob behind the mobile phone clip. After loosening it, now we can turn the clip sideways so that it can actually hold the GoPro in the correct orientation. Lock it in by tightening the knob behind the clip. Now we can take our GoPro and insert it into the clip like so. Now we need something to secure. What I've got is one of these super thick gauge rubber bands, which I had tightened a knot at the end of it to make it a little bit smaller to fit. And then it's just a matter of stretching it, stretching it, I said, over the whole assembly. Nice and easy. Loop it over the knob in the back to make sure that it doesn't go flying off. Now we have a stabilized GoPro setup. There you go. See? Beautiful. Now unless this is the view you want, we need some distance, which means that we need to get a selfie stick. Yes, a selfie stick, I said. Or you can call it a monopod, if you prefer not to face the raw, ugly truth. Here's the one I use. It is the GT Power Quick Pod. It's light, extends pretty quickly, and is decently stiff. But most importantly, it is cheap at $40 on Amazon. Links below, in case if you are curious. It even comes with a little quick release plate, which I have already attached to the end of the Osmo Mobile 2. So you can quickly clip the two together. It is plasticky, but so far I haven't had any issues with it. So as you can see, my preferred orientation is to actually sort of hang the Osmo uh, below the stick. This has the advantage of keeping the camera pretty low, and also because of this distance, the camera actually does not record the stick while I'm actually carrying it with me. And I'm able to swing this around pretty easily while the view remains stabilized as you can see. The setup is pretty portable and quick to break down and assemble which is very handy. Now enough with the talks, let's give it a go.
not too shabby, right? Especially considering that the whole setup costs a bit less than 200 bucks. Now, of course, there are ways to rig this up with a more quote unquote professional equipment. But unless you really spring for the expensive carbon fiber stuff, you'll also be paying in terms of um, additional weight for the whole setup. Anyhow, I hope this was helpful. And as always, any likes or comments are greatly appreciated, and it will make my day if you subscribe. Thank you, and until the next video.